Hey there, it's Jason again, uh, introducing my second tool here, which has come about after receiving a very similar question over and over again from entrepreneurs. Essentially, entrepreneurs want to know what's the valuation they should set. Um, and it's an in particular an interesting question given the new funding environment we're under with COVID-19. Um, but in my belief, I believe no matter what environment we're in, entrepreneurs actually shouldn't ever really set a price. Um, now they can have a valuation goal that they hope to achieve and they can even influence price. But at the end of the day, um, they don't set the price, the market sets the price. The company is only worth what investors are willing to pay for that company. And so the right question should be, how should you prepare for a conversation around what price should be? Uh, and in my belief, there are three things that affect valuation. Um, the first is actually on the flip side of it, it's, it's how much you need to raise. So what is the minimum amount of money that you need to raise in order to achieve certain milestones that you're hoping to achieve within this fundraise? Um, the second is how much dilution are you willing to take on? And of course, the third is what is the investor willing to pay for the company? So um, out of all those three, I think I can be very helpful thinking through the second, um, which is understanding the wide spectrum of dilution that you may take on in this, in this first round. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go here. All right, so I think there's gonna be some pre-work done um, around this, which is to think through uh, what is the minimum of money I need to raise? So that's the question. And just so you guys know, the way that I build these models and these tools is try to take a first pass where all the numbers fit perfectly, um, they're static numbers, and then I advance um, the, the model and the tools so that it can be influenced via variables, and then I make it even more advanced by making it pretty with conditional formatting, etc. So for this one, the first question you have is, how much money do I need to raise? Let's say it's a field that people add, and I'll say one million dollars. All right, uh, so now that I've gone through the basics of putting uh, the dilution tool together, uh, I can walk you through what this is. Essentially, at the top here, you'll see, um, you know, I'll make this prettier, but you can add in the amount of money that your budgeting work tells you that you need to raise. This top area sort of outlines um, how or, or what valuations would need to match that. Um, and then really this bottom tool, this brightly colored bottom tool kind of lets you look at at least after one round, um, what sort of valuation and uh, capital raise combinations uh, combine to create certain dilution scenarios. And, and you should really be focused on the things that look green. Um, red being obviously bad. Blue, this teal blue, aqua blue or whatever, being like obviously amazing, but sort of um, unachievably good. Now, this was just my first pass at putting the tool together. Um, all the formatting, the prettiness, the instructions, the intro videos, that all has been created, but I expect by the time you guys download this tool, uh, it'll have many more features, an education tab like I um, showed in the bottom here, um, and a lot more structure around the whole tool. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much.